Hi everybody, so um, <laughs> this is kind of going a little bit over the top, but uh, me and Kelsey wanted to, to uh, show you guys how to, if you're ever going to go and buy a used car, some things you want to check for. Um, so a couple things is always want to look at your bumper too, just uh, what happens is a lot of rock chips like to hit it and they end up starting to rust out. Uh, bumper is made out of plastic, so any, any chips like that um, can be repainted, nothing to worry about unless it's like a big crack or something like that. Um, also too, just look for any dents. There's one dent here. Um, the tires look brand new. Um, that's what the guy was telling me. There's just a little rust there. Uh, a couple of things he said that was wrong with it. He said the axles were um, kind of shot and I think you'll hear it once we once we drive. Uh, there's a little bit more rust. So once you're doing like a, just try and do a little um, go around to show what the car looks like and see if there's any big huge dents. Uh, top looks pretty good. There's another little uh, starting to bubble uh, rust there. Just some things you want to be cautious about. Uh, I took a picture of the engine. Uh, that looked pretty good. And I'm just going to hand this over to Kelsey. <laughs> um, so uh, what you want to do for um, when you get in your vehicle, make sure you check both fluid or all your fluids like transmission, oil, power steering, just to make sure nothing's dark, nothing's gritty. Um, uh, since since this car is from a dealer, what he said was uh, you got one month warranty on any engine or transmission. You, uh, yeah, and uh, I mean once you get inside, a couple things to check is to see if your <laughs> see if your AC and heater works. So it turned to full blast. Um, so there's the air conditioning, which, which feels pretty cool. Also, check, try the heater out. Um, yeah, it's starting to get pretty warm. So the AC and the heater work fine. Um, these are... Uh, another thing just to look at. Uh, so these are uh, hand windows. Same with uh, anything else like mirrors window um, make sure uh, so right here is your e-brake make sure that works um, usually what you want to do is put it in drive and if it goes anywhere which is not uh, then it works that way it helps um, if you ever parked or anywhere um, radio doesn't really matter unless you need you know it's a fucking criteria for you sorry I saw it's really hard <laughs> uh, so now now we're gonna do a test drive um, so the mileage we have on right now is 135,279. Um, the tank is really low, so you should have put gas in it. Um, so you might hear a little bit of crunching just because he said that the two axles were, uh, needs to be replaced, the brakes need to be replaced. Uh, there's a couple other things. So I don't know if you heard that, but that's just the axles. He said he was going to replace that. Um, so we're in, we're in a parking lot right now, just to you know show you what you want to look for. Um, try to test the brakes. You know, go just to make sure they're working. Uh, try your accelerating. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you definitely heard that one. Uh, try your accelerating to see how fast the car goes. Make sure you're not overdoing it. Get used to your car before you take it onto the road. Um, so we'll take it on the road just because he's letting us take it for a test drive because I told Kelsey that she wants a car and and from her getting into it she's like, ew, I don't want this car. So, <laughs> um, the reason we picked this car was because uh, it's more of a realistic car for the everyday student. Yep. Um, it's got good accelerating. I love going fast, so, you know. Um, make sure all your signals work. Lights, you want to make sure they work, too. Um, if there's any wiring issue, make sure, if you buy it from a dealer, make sure they fix it. Um, just, so yeah, you want to make sure you're not hearing anything else. Make sure that you enjoy it. Make sure you feel comfortable. Um, hey, it's been a pro change. Um, 
Yeah, so make sure that you enjoy driving the car itself. You don't want to be driving a car that you don't like. Um, I think that from a um, from a visual standpoint, this car is a very good, nice, clean car. Uh, you can always fix up those little rust spots on the body. It's not really a big deal. Uh, it's always just about make, uh, the mechanical issues, seeing what's wrong with it. I think that this is a really well dri driving car. I would honestly wouldn't mind driving this car just to make sure. Well, first I want to make sure that he fixes whatever needs to be done because whatever he said that needs to be done is included in the cost. Uh, so if you look at the windshield there, uh, you'll notice that there's a crack in it. Uh, so he's replacing the windshield, doing the axles, brakes. Uh, just getting everything done, um, so that's included in the cost. We'll go over that in the presentation as well. And so, overall, I think this is a great car. Um, honestly, I kind of feel like trading in my charger. Not really, just kidding. Love charger. <laughs> and, and, yeah, we'll go over all that stuff in the class. Um, I think, honestly, without that noise, this would be a great car for anybody, uh, for a beginner. Uh, me and Kelsey are going to look up the insurance and all that for this car. I'm pretty sure it'll probably be like 4000 a year just because most kids usually get in accidents and all that stuff. So um, take it over, JJ and Kelsey.